All right, so today's workout is chest and back, and this week the workouts are gonna focus on if you don't have a lot of time, because my brother-in-law is doing his boards for uh, medical school, so we're gonna show you how you can work out if you don't have a lot of time. So it's gonna focus on the EMOM style, so every minute on the minute. It's gonna be day one, whatever your day one is, chest and back, then an off day, then leg day, then an arm volume day for arm size. That's the only day that's not low volume, then an off day, then chest and back again, and then off. So today is day A, or chest and back. And so you're gonna find a two rep max incline bench and a three rep max wide pull up. Those are the weights you're gonna use for the workout. Before we do the bench, we're doing a maximal recruitment technique where you have on the bar after you've warmed up what you think is gonna be your two rep max, and then you put 50 pounds more and you hold it for 10 seconds without doing a rep, because obviously it's super maxed. It's more than what you can physiologically do. And that should recruit all your muscle fibers. So then maybe you can get a little bit more like a two and a half or 1.25 pounds more than what you thought you could. So you'll see how we do that. But once you find your two rep max and three rep max wide pull up, you're gonna do an EMOM style for 12 minutes. So that just means every minute on the minute for 12 minutes or 12 sets. You're gonna do one bench press at a two rep max weight and one to two pull-ups at a three rep max weight. So as you can see, that comes out to 12 reps at a two rep max weight, which is pretty good volume and intensity. So number of pounds lifted. Then second is seated row for 10 reps because you want to offset the heavy pushing movement because you don't want those rounded shoulders over time to reduce shoulder impingement. We always want to offset it with a horizontal movement. So we're going to do seated row. You can do cables. If you don't have cables, you can do bent over barbell row like that. Just make sure you're at a, a 90 degree angle with your hip. So the trunk's like this and your hips are like that. And then push-ups times 10 reps and you're gonna do four sets of that of 10 and 10. So very short workout. The warm-up was about five minutes. Then the, the progression warm-up to finding the two rep max weight was about three to four minutes. And then you did the max load technique, which took 10 seconds. And then the workout itself was 12 minutes. And then this part took maybe 10 to 12 minutes as well. So less than 45 minutes total, uh, pretty good workout. Again, low volume because we're gonna be doing multi these same muscle groups later in the week. And so you don't wanna be sore as you typically are when you do hypertrophy work or a bunch of volume. That's what typically breaks down your muscle fibers and that's why you get sore. So if you wanna do this workout, you can with us. We're going to be doing this split this week. Uh, it's a good way to work out if you don't have a lot of time. All right, so this is the super maximal stimulation technique set. So it's 50 pounds more than we think your two rep max would be. You're going to lift it, slightly bend the elbows to activate the pec fibers, and hold it for about 10 seconds. You can do a couple small motions if you want to as well. stimulation technique was for. So let's see if this is our two rep max. It is five pounds more than what I've done for my three rep max. Alright, so that's our two rep. Alright, so 220 two and a half pounds more on the left sleeve. Now we have to find our three rep max for pull-ups. both of those superset. All right, so here we go. So with a two rep max weight, you're gonna do one rep every minute on the minute. And within that same minute, 
you're going to do one to two reps with a three max rep pull-up weight. And we're going to do 12 sets, so this is going to be the bulk of our workout today. Um, the the warm-up to find the, the three rep and two rep max took about five minutes, plus the 12 minutes here, so that'll make 17 minutes total so far. So it will start to get heavy, usually around set four to five. So you may want to spot her if you're not used to doing this. Getting a little heavier. Just gonna alternate one rep every set, two reps. So as you can see, it ends up being quite a lot of reps with that heavy weight. Twelve reps at a two rep max weight you normally would not think you could do. Feel like it. Let's do this. crazy hard. I actually have a massive pump going on. Usually you don't feel like a pump where your muscles are full, full of blood when you do strength work. But that's why I like EMOMs as well. It's got volume but strength together depending on how you set it up. Alright, so one more workout or exercise, another superset chest and back. So it's going to be seated horizontal rows for a horizontal rowing motion to strengthen those rear delts so we have good posture because we're doing heavy pushing, superset it with just regular push-ups. Four sets of 10 for both movements. Your scapular retractors and your lats. 